I am hesitant to post this video because I do not want to offer bad advice, but I feel like it's always good to offer an alternate style to the way I play. An underused tool in this game for goalies is using L1 or left bumper to toggle off precision movement. That is, if you play with precision movement as the default and alternate controls, you'd be hitting L1 or left bumper to toggle the more aggressive movement. If you're using default controls, it's L2 or left trigger. I want to start off by saying that I do not use this, and this is me basically offering advice to people who are struggling still and like to spend a little bit more time down on their butterfly. This is a style that another goalie in LG uses, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because he had a tremendous season. Uh, his name's Vex, and he uses a style, and he won the Vesna League MVP and a bunch of other awards. Uh, I definitely brought this style up on my channel before during a Frank episode because I was using it for a bit, but I just found it way too hard to control, and I stopped. Anyway, Vex uses this, and I think it's appropriate. I'll give credit to him. Uh, this is his style. He basically carried his team this way, and he can control it, so good for him. Anyway, the only time you would use this movement is when you're in your butterfly. You can control smaller movements, but also move further. That's the positive there. It allows you to interrupt your movements faster than when you're just in the normal butterfly movement. This video is aimed at people who use precision as default, which is, I hope, the majority of you guys. Uh, you'll have to modify the way you hold your controller to use this. So you'd put your left middle finger on the trigger and your left index finger on the bumper or L1 and everything else is normal. You have to be able to hit both the trigger and the bumper at the same time to do this effectively. Do not use this while you hug the post or moving off the post more specifically. There's a random glitch that we've talked about before that will move you off the post the wrong way. Also, I shouldn't have to say this, but don't use this while you're standing up because the T-push is useless. The only time I would ever personally use this is when I'm caught down in my butterfly and I have to move back across my crease. Regular butterfly movement doesn't allow you to cut back as fast or as far. You can replace the times you'd use the right stick with this as well, which is rare, remember that. Uh, and if you like to butterfly slide into a cross crease, you'll get a bit of extra distance. Uh, but remember, I like to stay standing up. I don't do this. This is just an alternate to the, to the way I play. That's it though. I don't really like this because it's very, very hard to control. If you use it too much, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, remember, the longer you hold the left stick, the further you're going to move. It's tough to stay composed when there's a lot of hectic stuff going on in front of the net, and you may fly out of position. So it definitely takes some practice to get, to get it under control. It can be very beneficial, though, once you do learn to control it. So I'd say give it a shot and, like, drop it or something and try it out. The other time you can use it is in combination with the desperation saves to get some added distance. I've been using this with my diving poke checks and it's been working really well so i'll just like hold l1 push up on the left stick and then hold square and i get like an extra like three inches of distance and i i can just poke the puck off the guy's stick it also works really well on the stack to pad save and sometimes you can get some lateral movement on your uh, spread eagle but that's it one last note be careful when you switch your camera from the goalie focus to the puck focus because if you're holding l1 or left bumper that is the shortcut to pull the goalie. So just be aware of that. Thanks for watching everyone to reiterate this for the millionth time. I do not play this way, but I figured it may be helpful for some people uh, if they want to switch it up. So I'll see you guys next time.